Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have m to the power of 9 is equal to 13 to the power of m. Now for this solution. Alright, so we're first starting with m to the power of 9 is equal to 13 to the power of m. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ln on both sides. So now I have ln of m to the power of 9, and now this is equal to ln of 13 to the power of m. Now an important property of logarithms is that, let's say I have log a to the power of b. I can actually move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So this would equal b times log a. And this property is known as the power property. And because ln, the natural log, that's also a logarithm. Meaning if I have ln to the power of a to the power of b, this is equal to, I can move my exponent, b times ln a. So in this case, I have ln m to the power of 9. And this is equal to ln 13 to the power of m. So I can think of m as a and 9 as b. So I can move this exponent 9 to the front of the logarithm. So this would be 9 times ln m, which is equal to ln 13 to the power of m. And now I'm going to do the same thing with ln 13 to the power of m. I'm going to move my exponent to the front. So now I have 9 times ln m is equal to m times ln 13. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by 9m. So then these two would cancel out and I would be left with ln m over m is equal to, these two would cancel out, so ln 13 over 9. Now, if I have something in the form, now if, if I have e to the power of ln of x, this is actually equal to x, because the e's and ln's cancel out. So m here, e to the power of ln m, this is equal to m. So now I have ln m over e to the power of ln m is equal to ln 13 over 9. Now I have ln m times e to the power of negative ln m is equal to ln 13 over 9. Because a negative exponent, let's say I have a to the power of negative m, this is equal to 1 over a to the power of m. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, from ln m times e to the power of negative ln m, this is equal to ln 13 over 9. Now what I'm going to do is, so now to solve this, what I'm going to use is the Lambert w function. And what the Lambert W function is, is it states that if I have take the W, oops, sorry, if I take the W of A times E to the power of A, this is simply equal to A. So I'm going to be using this Lambert W function on our equation here. So our equation is LM ln times m times e to the power of negative ln m 
is equal to ln 13 over 9. So now if I use this function, and now before doing that, if I multiply both sides by negative, I get negative lnm is equal to negative ln 13 over 9. So now if I take the Lambert function, I get w of negative lnm times e to the power of negative lnm. And then what I have to do on one side, I have to do it on the other. So this is equal to w of negative ln 13 over 9. Now this is equal to negative ln m, which is equal to still w of negative ln 13 over 9. And now if I have something in the form log a to the power of negative 1, this is equal to negative log a, because I can move my exponent here to the front. So this negative, I can move to the front. So now I have neg uh, ln m to the power of negative 1 is equal to w of negative ln 13 over 9. Now, if I take e on both sides, I get e to the power of ln m to the power of negative 1 is equal to e to the power of w of negative ln 13 over 9. So then this e and ln cancel out. So now I would be left with m to the power of negative 1 is equal to e to the power of w of negative ln 13 over 9. Now m to the power of negative 1 is the same thing as 1 over m. So I have 1 over m is equal to e to the power of w of negative ln 13 over 9. And now 1 over m is the same thing as, now if I replace, actually, if I replace these two, I get 1 over e to the power of w of negative ln 13 over 9 is equal to m. So that is our answer. Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have a to the power of a is equal to 2 to the power of 8. Now, 8, this is the same thing as 4 times 2, right? So now I'm going to write this as a to the power of a is equal to 2 to the power of 4 times 2. And now, if we have something in the form a to the power of m times n, we could write this as a to the power of m to the power of n. Or we could also write this as a to the power of n to the power of m. It doesn't matter the order because they're both being multiplied and multiplication order doesn't matter. So now I'm going to write this as a to the power of a is equal to 2 squared to the power of 4. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. 
So this would equal 2 to the power of 2 times 4. However, I am not going to do that. I'm simply going to take solve what's in the parentheses. So 2 squared, and that is equal to 4. So now I have 4 to the power of 4 is equal to a to the power of a. Now, if we have something in the form x to the power of x is equal to y to the power of y, then this means that x is equal to y as long as x is less than, or sorry, greater than or equal to 1. So in this case, a is equal to 4.